this is Colette Campbell with Campbell Drug, and this is part three series of the, of the three-part series. Uh, today we're going to talk about how the, the final parts of how your shoes should, should fit. We're going to work with the heel of the shoe. A lot of people worry about heel slippage. Heel slippage in newer shoes are common. Sometimes it's, it's that breakthrough period, especially if you're talking about a shoe that is an all-leather shoe. Sometimes it takes it a while to bend. A trick to that is don't buy a smaller shoe to try to prevent heel slippage. If you need to wear a size 8, you need to wear a size 8, then you need to work on what's going on with the heel. Sometimes you can get what they call a combination last shoe where it's tighter in the heel, but if you talk to your shoe fitter, and if you don't have one, go find one, um, that can help accommodate what's going on with your heel. A super easy trick to that is always do what they call heel tap, where you take your foot and you tap on the back of the heel, gets that heel in the back of the shoe before you lace it up, especially an athletic shoe with laces. That's, that's a good one with your kids too. It gets their heel in the heel cap and you shouldn't have as much slippage. Again, slippage is fairly common. There's a jillion ways you can deal with that, so if that is a problem you have, be sure to talk to somebody about that. Um, the next thing is inserts or orthotics. If you have inserts or orthotics, that will change the way your shoes fit. The normal, what they call everyday fashion shoes are not meant to accommodate an orthotic. You need what they call an extra depth shoe. This is true for a child or an adult. An extra depth shoe is a shoe that has up to a half an inch of de extra depth in it to accommodate those products. When you have that extra depth, then that makes the shoe fit properly and it makes the orthotic fit properly. If you're not familiar with an extra depth, please come and see us. We can show you shoe brands, um, shoe styles that have that accommodation and explain to you how that works. Um, the next one is make sure that your shoes match what you do. If you're picking out shoes for running, then pick out running shoes. Don't pick out the walking shoes and try to make them a walk running shoe. If you're going on that cruise and you want a shoe to walk in but you want a shoe that looks cute, that really doesn't exist. If you truly want to walk, you need to use an athletic shoe. They are made different in the base. They are made to support your feet different. If you wear the wrong shoes, example, if you wear your high heels when you're walking in Vegas, your feet are going to hurt. That's not what they're meant for. Um, most high heels are a two-hour shoe or less. So make sure that you're trying shoes. And if you're not sure if this shoe, because sometimes looks can be deceiving, again, please talk to who you're buying your shoes from. Last is make sure you walk in your shoes. A lot of people buy shoes for their kids without their kids putting them on. That's, that's a huge mistake. Um, you need to see how your kid walks. If it changes their walking, there may be something going on in there that you need to address now. The same thing with yourself. To catch heel slippage, to catch sizes, you need to know how that's doing when you're walking. So, you know, get your shoes somewhere, walk down the aisles, walk back and forth, you know, check with who you bought your shoes from if you could take them home and walk on carpet. But it's important that, especially if you're going on a trip, that you've worn those shoes and gotten used to them ahead of time. Um, that's our 10 hints to buying shoes. If you have any questions past that, feel free to come and see us and we'll see what we can do to help you.